Hello YouTube. Today we are going to talk about how to replace the brake light switch. The popular problem among the uh, 3G Acura TL, it's the the third brake light or the window light, it is not working or sometimes it flickers. It's a very popular problem. It's a very common problem for the Acura TL owners, a 3G from 2004 to 2008. And some people say you're going to have to replace the window light, which is going to cost you $300 in order to fix it, which is not true. That's the good news about this. The, uh, the brake light switch itself, it is only 1041. You can get it from any auto part store or mine. I got it from AutoZone. If you replace that, you'll be able to fix your brake, uh, the third brake light or the window light. So let me show you how. So this is the part I took out from underneath. And you get below. Uh, let me try to get... So let me try to get underneath, okay? All right, the brake light, it's this one. This is the replacement part. Um, it's located above the brake pedal. You're gonna have to remove some parts underneath here, which is fairly easy. It is, you gotta remove this screw right here. And, and the rest will just pry off, okay? But anyway, that's the part you wanna replace. You take it out counterclockwise to unscrew it, and then you um, take the replacement one and you put it back in. The replacement one, it is, uh, sorry, the original part, it is a black one. This is the replacement one, the 1041 I got from AutoZone. So what it does is, when you press the brake, the switch engages, and you let it go uh that's when you turn off the switch so it's a button you uh, let it go it turns on you press it it turns off okay uh, you press the uh, sorry you press it you press the brake it lets go like that which is it turns on the brake lights and then when you let it go it goes back into the original position what it is right now when you're not pressing the brake and that's how the the brake lights will turn off. So this switch goes bad every, uh, every once in a while. So if they tell you to replace the, the window light or the third brake light, the good news is you don't have to do that. Just replace that. Make sure it is in proper position. Make sure it's not loose. Uh, first you unplug that. You put the switch in. You uh, screw it back. And then you plug it, uh, you plug that back in, and you'll be in business. If you have any questions, guys, please leave your comments below and let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace out.